holy grand sacrifice. Let's do this because I'm going to need the piety if I actually make it to all three. So let's do that. There are those within my lands who believe in holding grand sacrificial slaughters for their fictional gods. My own enlightened Slavonskian faith endorses no such burgery, and yet a curious property of many such festivals is that they hinge on the active participation of the king. I need not convert to their beliefs to administer their ways, but it would doubtless with me win me many friends among my less enlightened subjects, peasant and noble alike, to agree to a host of a great festival for their faith. We'll try it. We'll see where this goes. Can I usurp it yet? Nope. He's close. Mm, I don't think so. Go on a pilgrimage to ooh, Kiev. Let's do Kiev. Although smaller festivals are held for many occasions through the year, once a decade, the Astrians of Bohemia come together for a grand celebration, most importantly, a grand sacrifice. Though plentiful blood is shed for the gods, the meat of the offerings goes to the faithful, such as rich feasts usually makes for an incredible party. Of course, such an affair is expensive, and certainly not all Astrians need to be invited. Um, every lord and commoner. I got plenty of gold for that, so we're going to do it. And we'll pay for a guide. Alright, I can create the title. Duchy of Mecklenburg. And that means... Do I only have two duchies? I do. I'll just keep it I'm within my realm. I need to convert him or throw him out. So I gain stress because I'm generous. He'll definitely rise up against me. All the Astruian. Let's see. Let's see if this feast changes their mind about me. And if it doesn't, then I can always do something there. Alright, where is this next one? Right there. Mazovia. to be home. We're not going to do a holy order right now. Alright. Let's speed it up because I need this. Okay, here we go. A festival can be both a grand and a small affair, but by tradition they also include both human and animal sacrifice. Silver prisoners will be offered to the gods, perhaps even including a special choice of my own, their lives given in tribute to the gods. Though the beliefs of Astrum demand this, there are those amongst my vessels who find the notion barbaric, and the ceremony can proceed with purely animal sacrifices if I wish to avoid controversy. A decent array of animal sacrifices. Beast or fowl. For every man. We 
we're gonna just lose lose a little bit of piety. Yes, at the festival are so numerous that they blanket the area around the temple, sending up a cacophonous roar as a respectable parade of sacrificial animals are trooped to the altar. One by one, pigs, cattle, and horses are each brought forth, throttled to death, and drained of blood. The meat goes to the fires and the feast. All gore is collected in a bowl, and whatever is used to paint the walls of the temple inside and out. I may not share the faith, but happy subjects make for a happy king. I take my leave early. see how close I am to forming this. Oh, I got a long way to go. Okay. Um, does he want to just be my vassal? Nope. They like me a little better now. My vassal has arrived at court with a bandaged arm and a hunger for vengeance. He tells me that my son has been running rampage. Haha. <laughs> Your boy fancied himself a duelist. He turned up at my doorstep and challenged me in front of everyone. I had no choice but to accept. These duels stop. It's a dangerous pastime. I need to pay. Yeah, I'm going to pay for him. I want him to have a lot of prowess. If I take that. Let's do a network. Ugh. Didn't get the percentage on that one. Slav is still low. They have a lot of friends now. They have a lot of friends too. Do they? They do not. Does he? He actually does, but it's only one. I'm just going to do, I think I'm just going to do local and take this really fast. That's the local army? Goodness.
My son has been hovering around my council meetings lately, knowing his interest in matters of leadership. I cannot help but feel that the man is waiting for me to impress him. I could bear properly engage him in a conversation. On the other hand, it might be better for him to simply see me interacting with my men. There is something to be said for at least pretending to know every soldier's face. He's already a hundred, so I'll go respectable figurehead. hand this off to someone with a lot of piety gregarious cynical fickle there we go compassionate patient and gregarious ooh but he's not why are we not getting check here check slavin's getting problem there we go calm chaste and shy I think I'll go with him. He'll help us convert that. And he's not bad to just make him over all of Pomerania when it comes time. Right there. Pomerelia, not Pomerania. As I retreat to my chambers for the night, I stumble upon one of my guests, Verkoslava, in my innermost sanctum. How did she get here? It's not what it looks like, my lord, she claims. The fact that she is half-naked in the process of bodily defiling my grandmother. Grandmother's portrait tells me that it, it is, in fact, exactly what it looks like. Um, why is that? Why do I lose a hundred stress? That doesn't make any sense. Generous, trusting, and chaste. None of that makes sense to lose stress for that. Um, deviant secret. I gain piety. I do need piety. If I want her to leave my court. Um, let's do that. We're going to send her to the dungeon. I need the piety. Yeah, you don't get out for 10. Vladislav has returned from his adventures a stronger man. While he has lost a few duels and angered some more of my vassals, he has also had his fair share of victories and gained valuable experience. Alright. Hereditary rule. Did we get all these? Yep, we're done with all those. just get communal government so we can develop more because we're getting a penalty for that right now All right, do they still have their friends they do not you might be a king but you're also a vile knave the unprovoked anger expressed by a courtier comes as a complete surprise he has been under a lot of stress lately but to behave like this that he even struggles is calming Our integration efforts in the High Chiefdom of Upper Cilicia are going very well. In fact, we might be able to try to impose the taxation practices of the Kingdom of Bohemia on a limited scale. No. I want... Perhaps there are more things we can learn from their practices instead. Their development goes up. No, these things take time and we should give it as much time as it needs. Yeah, we're going to go as much time as it needs. Because I want, so just in case you didn't know what that was. Whoop. Hang on. 
Let me take care of the physician first. Um, she's 17. So she's going to be around a lot longer. Hopefully. We'll go that route. And then we'll go a point. So what I'm he's he's doing the du jour drift on upper Cilicia, right? Or is it lower? It doesn't say. Why am I missing this? Oh, Greater Poland. Greater Poland. No, he's from Greater Poland. Twenty-seven, forty-five years. So, I think it's this one. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do is add. Upper Cilicia into the Kingdom of Bohemia's oversight. So that duchy, right now, that duchy of Upper Cilicia is in Poland. I'm trying to move it to Bohemia. So even if I would lose the Kingdom of Poland, I still keep it because I have the Kingdom of Bohemia. And it falls under my de jure rule. So that's the whole point of that. All right, now let's look at this. Nordmark, where's Nordmark? Right there. They have 2,500. Oh, and he's in my realm. So the fact that you're allied with him means nothing. So let's take this. Time for some paid back when you were absolutely driving me bonkers with attacking me. <laughs> Um, probably a hundred years ago. Before I do this, what's my offensive war looking like? Seven. Yep, I can beat it fast enough. Oh. And declare war. That one. Well, I better make sure. Plug. It's the right one. Okay. Touching Mesovia. Declare. Stop the villain behind. Oh, someone is plotting against me. Well, let's do this. Disrupt.
past one. That was quick. Thank you so much. You are now mine. Let's do somebody over Mazov. So I need to check. All right. I need check. I probably need somebody with some control, I'm guessing. Yeah, control, so. Do we have any really good ones? My champion, I don't really want him. Content, oh, patient. Patient, generous, diligent. But he's got claims going on. Mm, I'm hesitant when he's already got claims. Here we go. Forgiving, gregarious, and generous. It's about as good as you can get. Uh, of course I can't usurp him yet. Ugh. Alright. Well. I'm just going to have to give it away. And then do it later. Your son, Vatislav, has taken great interest in my work as your steward as of late. If you were to graciously allow me to spend time with the young man, he is sure to quite learn quite a few things about doing sums and administering land. I agree. As long as you know what you're doing. He does. I want to see. It would help him. <sighs> He's 70. I'm taking a chance letting him do this. But I still have one other son, even if he kills him. He's a learner. His stewardship. We'll see where this goes. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't kill him. All right, increase by two. Nice. Vassal has laid claim to the kingdom of Bohemia. Apparently there was a strategic marriage between our dynasties some years ago. Of course there was. Um, it won't matter. him happy.
callous, arrogant, compassionate. We'll go. Trying to usurp this guy. There we go. Now I can. Am I still swaying? I'm not. Lightning raid by Grandmaster Mats of the Joms Vikings on Rostock threatens to set half of the county ablaze. Though the Joms Vikings bear no particular grudges against a Slavian skin like myself, they still depend on plunder and raiding to survive, and my lands are a tempting target. Perhaps, perhaps paying them a heavy gaffle could yet spare my subjects. 